Hey guys, in this video, we are going to build two mining rigs with the help of RX 6700 XT graphic card. Coming to the rig components, we need RX 6700 XT of 12 and either of these motherboards, Firestar TP250 BTC Pro is what we are using right now and two of these Cooler Master Gold 850 version 2 SMPS and not more than 6th generation processors as we are using BTC Pro TP250 BTC Pro which doesn't support uh, the latest process and 4GB RAM is uh, more than enough for our rig and we need the same quantity of risers that we have for the graphic cards if it is 12 graphic cards we need 12 risers and one jumper cable as we are using two SMPS and we need to start both of these SMPS at the same time so we will be using jumper cable and one frame to hold these all things In order to install HiveOS onto your pen drive, go to this link which will be provided in the description and you need to download two things. One is the stable version either using torrent or zip and also download Eacher. After downloading these files, extract the stable version and you will get an image file and open the Eacher portable and select the image file that we have extracted. Uh, by default it will select the USB so we just need to click on flash and it will automatically after installing a HiOS or before installing HiOS go to the HiOS form and uh, register your account uh, using the referral ID which will be down in the description and you will get $10 free uh, after logging in form you need to create uh, the form creating and uh, once you create the form you need to create workers and enter your worker name dummy and, and a tags will be automatically uh, created as we have selected auto tag form and this setting GPU and SI is based on which miner you are currently using either it is a, a GPU based miners or ASIC based miners so currently we have uh, GPUs, we are creating workers and after creating a worker you need to download this rig.com file which can be also obtained from settings, rig form you can click on it, uh, you will be able to download it and you can directly uh, download it into the high pen drive and uh, get to go. After booting your PC it will configure your miner and once that is done you can the, the worker has it just configure and you can also check the temperatures of the each GPU and also you can change the overclock settings uh, from over here uh, we use presets for now and if I wanted to recommend a graphic card I would say the MSI OC version and also power color is a lot cooler than the ASRock and Gigabyte I would recommend you to on this auto fan because uh, if you uh, the temperature exceeds the limit and uh, you don't need to configure and change the settings uh, or overclock it every time uh, in respect of fan speed you can it, it will automatically change your fan speed based on the temperature so if you see over here uh, it has 71 degrees temperature which is a little less uh, compared to 73 degrees 
so it uh, has its fan speed at 100 percent whereas this gpu has 55 percent there are a lot of features over here where you can uh, configure and uh, used in the highways yeah so this is a rig uh, that we have built and it took a lot of time for us to build because of the power supply that we provided for that so we had an issue with the 16 amp uh, power supply and this particular rig each rig uh, needs uh, 6 plus 6 uh, amperes of supply so we used uh, 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 for each uh, SMPS we have used one particular spike uh, which is connected with the 6 amperes of uh, supply and uh, yeah. if you uh, come back to the uh, SMPS the power supply that we provided is we have divided our 9 uh, GPU rig into multiple sectors so this SMPS covers uh, these four, uh, these four graphic cards along with the CPU of the motherboard, and this SMPS supports all other five graphic cards. Yeah. Yeah. So we have used a splitter, eight plus uh, six plus two splitters, uh, both connected to the graphic card, uh, and uh, each pin. Uh, these are the pins that we use, the three pins for this particular rig. And we have used risers pin as well. That over here we have used uh, 9.0s uh, uh, risers over here. Uh, we can you can use any riser, but uh, it's better to use 9 uh, uh, version riser because it uh, supports higher uh, hash rate. And coming to the motherboard, we have used. Uh, this is a 250 TB a TB250 motherboard. We have uh, used a jumper cable to attach to SMPS. This is a connection for main uh, SMPS. We have used the uh, this jumper cable just to make sure that those two SMPS will on at the same time. And but for now, we haven't used SSD. We have used a pen drive uh, to boot our OS. It's better to use pen drive because it's uh, less cost and also it supports uh, the high OS. Uh, over here, currently, uh, the temperature is our uh, the room temperature is 32 because we have used uh, AC in our room. Uh, we are looking into the fans in uh, one or two days but for now we are using the AC just to make sure that the graphic cards don't overheat uh, this is the room temperature and but uh, the temperature of these graphic cards varies uh, if you compare gigabyte with MSI MSI is lighter uh, heater than uh, gigabyte I would recommend you to take power color because it's uh, memory uh, heat is too low with the same hash rate, a light, slight difference in the point variations. The power color provides us uh, good mem uh, temperature, not more than 70 even if you use uh, the normal fan in your room. But whereas AS Rock and uh, Gigabit goes up to 86 degrees. Uh, I faced issues when I had higher uh, temperature on the processor, so it restarted the whole system every time it uh, over it. So if you see the hashing rate over here, we can see 46.5 to each graphic card. We have uh, 9 graphic cards attached to one rig. Uh, currently we are showing, seeing only one rig uh, commands. So if you see, this is the hash rate that we get, the average hash rate. And this is the current ETH uh, readings of our graphic cards. Uh, this is a good amount and we didn't even overclock it.